Hi, my name is Walt Morey, and I'm here to suggest some additional possibilities to improve treatment for people with chronic pain or fibromyalgia. This video is being made in June 2020. By the time you see it, much could have changed in the treatment of fibromyalgia. I hope so. First, a disclaimer or two. I'm not a doctor. I was an engineer for 50 years and became nationally certified in therapeutic massage and body work in the USA in 2002. As an engineer, when I find something that works, I try to make it consistent because when it works consistently, it is actually useful. Most people with fibromyalgia have tried a wide variety of things, some of which helped a little, some of which made things worse, but most did very little to improve their pain or function. The reason these things didn't work very well is because they're treating the wrong thing first. When you have so much pain that it is frequently difficult to even get out of bed, an exercise plan makes little sense. When your pain is so great you can barely think, intellectual analysis of how to live your life better is impossible. Doctors say something like your central nervous system is hypersensitized by too little or too much neurotransmitters, and we have drugs for you to try, my emphasis. And yet the latest studies recommend no medications for fibromyalgia. The ULAR recommendations mention five drugs with weak for evidence, and quite a few with strong against. And they can do blood tests that show that your system is oversensitive to painful stimulus. All this is very interesting, but not very useful to you. There's a piece of the puzzle missing. Where does all this pain originate? I've been working with only tens of clients, and they really aren't very patient. And they all have significant damage in their muscles. And that can be helped with deep tissue massage. Unfortunately, deep tissue massage, as trained, requires the addition of more pain. Massage schools believe in no pain, no gain. For people with chronic pain or fibromyalgia, this sets up an impossible situation. To get the treatment they need, causes too much pain to be supportable. Why does deep tissue massage need to be painful? Because the teachers said so. Why do they say so? Because their teachers said so. No one checked if this major premise is correct. Starting in 2002, I have, and it is not. Not only wrong, but counterproductive. You can get away with it doing deep tissue massage in a painful way if you're working on athletes who expect pain in their training, and it's not even the best thing for that, according to the latest studies. You cannot expect good results on people who are already in extreme pain. So I have optimized my massage to minimize the addition of pain for my clients, according to them. How do I know? I explain to them that they will know tomorrow if I use too much pressure or speed today. And in the first massages especially, I stay in very close communication, especially nonverbal, with them to guide my experience to make their massage more effective. It is true that with clients with fibromyalgia, I cannot go very deep at all in the first few sessions. These first few sessions are to start to desensitize their bodies to gentle touch. And virtually all clients who could only receive extremely light touch at the beginning become comfortable with moderate pressures within 10 sessions at worst. I prefer to have sessions twice a week, although once a week can be effective. You have to be consistent or progress will be limited. Also, what changes for client fibromyalgia clients first is that they gradually can do more and more of what they want to do. Pain starts to reduce only after they are able to do everything they want to do. 
I have found the self-test fibromyalgia impact questionnaire, FIQ, shows a significant improvement in function, generally after 15 to 30 massages. As they become able to do more, they can also restart behaviors that push them into fibromyalgia, which show up as reversals in their progress. And this can be measured in the FIQ. To track their progress, I suggest taking the FIQ before starting and after about every eight massages. These reversals clearly show when they need to change something they have started doing again, and painless deep tissue massage can accompany them on their voyage of discovery. Where can you get painless deep tissue massage? In the United States and in quite a few other countries, there are therapists who have been trained in deep tissue or trigger point massages. If they are open to trying stylistic changes in their massages, most of their knowledge applies very well to painless deep tissue massage. To provide a little guidance to current therapists, as well as starting help for people who wish to help their friends or partners with fibromyalgia, I have prepared a video showing how to start massaging. I encourage those interested in helping just to start gently. Thank you.